Slugs or mushrooms? Mushrooms. Slugs are probably... What are you, what are you doing? <laughs> I don't think he likes that. He's so soft. <laughs> Ew. What do you think about me growing mushrooms? Yeah, I think it's great. Just, I, I'd rather you grow them than try to pick them and eat that stuff because you just never know what you're going to get. It's like a box of chocolates. Like a box of chocolates. Get a phone call. I went up a tree and I watched them turn, wondering where I went. I take a rest, I hold my breath, I let it simmer down. I climb too high and I wonder now, spied the lights of town. Said, don't go downtown tonight. There's trouble. The schnozberries takes like schnozberries. The Batman in the shadow. Or the bound to take your life. But if you mind the rambles, I tell you how to do. Keep your money in your pocket, boy, and the razor you shoot. Hello. So I don't know how many of you guys listen to Joe Rogan podcast, but he had someone on there not too long ago who um, he actually lives nearby and he's really into mushrooms and he does all this research on mushrooms and it was a super interesting podcast. He was talking about like mushrooms could be like extraterrestrials or I, it, um, yeah, it was. <laughs> It was a really good podcast, um, but after I listened to that, I bought this book, and I've been going through our property trying to identify mushrooms, but every time I find one, I'm like, oh, that would be good. It ends up being completely poisonous. It's like death cap or poison pie, destroying the angel, and so I kind of lost confidence, and so instead of foraging my own mushrooms, I decided to try and grow some because it's a fun homesteading thing to do too. The problem is that you're supposed to have a super sterile environment when you grow mushrooms um, so that the fungi won't have to compete with other bacteria and mold that wants to grow in the same environment. So we'll see how this goes. Um, I kind of cut some corners. I have one pillowcase full of hay and one pillowcase full of straw and you're supposed to use straw but I wanted to see what happens with hay. So we're gonna do that one as well. And so what I'm doing now is I have the pillowcases boiling outside in a thing of water to pasteurize it. And then after that's pasteurized, um, you hang it up, let it dry, and then you put your hay in, or straw or whatever, in a Tupperware container and you mix it in with the mycelium, which is the growth of the mushrooms. And then, in like a month or two, you're supposed to have mushrooms popping out of it, like a bag. You put it in a, 
put it in the pillowcase, you put it in the Tupperware, you mix it with all this stuff, and then you put it in a plastic bag, and then you hang it in the basement, and then within a month or two, we should see some stuff, so. Yeah, sorry this isn't like the most informative video. I I don't like talking to the camera still, sorry. <laughs> um, but I'll try and link some videos that I watched on YouTube that were really informative and helpful. And this video can just be a fun introducing you to the idea. And you know, if I fail and you fail, then we can fail together. So yeah. Oh, I did want to say that I'm so grateful for all the comments and positive feedback that I've gotten on the video so far. You guys are so nice and there hasn't been any trolls whatsoever so far, which is great. And I'm sorry I haven't gotten back to everyone. I try not to go um, check on it too much. I'm just kind of, I don't know, I'm making the videos because it's a shame not to. We have so much going on in our property. Um, it is fun making them. I like the editing part. Um, but yeah, so I do read them every so often and I appreciate all of them. So thank you guys. I'm excited to show you my mushrooms. I'm excited too. I'm putting them in the basement. I have a mushroom I'd like to show you. Stop. Oh. Mm -hmm.